All right, collective, welcome back to the channel, Emperor's Light Tarot. Come liking the video, subscribing the video, adding value to the channel so that we, continue, so that we can continue to grow. But we're going to get into your love messages for this evening. I'm already seeing the star card doing a pre-shuffle. There we go. But yeah, happy Friday evening. It's going on about, what, 5.45-ish? In the PM, we're going to see what's currently surrounding you in love and romance at this time. What you need to know in regards to the matters of the heart. Let's see. Love messages for the collective. High vibrational messages for the collective this evening, spirit. What do they need to know in regards to love and romance? <clears throat> Yeah, my throat has kind of been off lately, so I've been speaking kind of like, it's like walking like, right? So, my voice sounds really relaxed. <laughs> Love messages. So, we haven't had any jumpers yet for you today, Collective. Not sure how eventful your weekend is going to be or your current love energies are right now. Or what's headed towards you in the near future. Well, you don't necessarily have to see these jumpers or flippers or crazy energies flying through the cards. Let's see. We got the Queen of Wands, I believe that is. Yep. The Queen of Wands grounding your reading. So this is your confidence. This is the energy that you have. This is your attractiveness and your creativity. Mm -hmm. You may be a content creator or some sort of an influencer. And this could be the energy that you're attracting at this time as well. The Eight of Pentacles. Do you work on the weekend? You could have a very consistent or persistent person headed towards you. A hard worker. The Five of Cups. Recently experiencing some sort of a loss or sadness or grief. Emotional change even. This could be also someone working hard towards some sort of a breakthrough. An emotional and you know their feelings or whatever the case may be. Okay, guarded energy, yeah, noted or taken, especially if there's been some sort of a recent hiccup in the emotions. It could be discipline, the seven of wands, judgment, the earth angel, mm -hmm. Scorpio energy, so an action needed to be taken, very powerful energy. You could have a motivational speaker headed towards you, a whistleblower. A queen of pentacles, someone very financially stable or well off, well off, right, confident, a mother or wife. The Wheel of Fortune clarifies the eight of pentacles, a viral moment, an app. This is luck, karma, fate, and destiny, wish fulfillment for some, right? If it comes out on top of the eight of pentacles, that means you're building towards, you know, you're getting an upgrade in your finances as long as you're being consistent, right? You get in what you put out. The laws of attraction. Mm -hmm. Alchemy. 333 three, three showing up. Yeah, so you're currently creating something or something's being created for you by the universe. Since these are love readings, this could be perhaps love, marriage. Let's clarify this five of cups. The magician comes in. The master manifester or manipulator. The magician can do all things, right? Free will. This would be that alchemist. Mm -hmm. This it would be you grounding your thoughts, right? Spirit or your desires or the things that you think about, turning them into reality, right? That's the ultimate human manifestation. Anything we can think of or dream of, we can turn it into reality. Right? Whether it's something intangible like love or something actually tangible like world networks and the systems and the internet. And all these big buildings that we have around us, right? You think they just dropped out of the sky or just appeared out of nowhere? Nope, they were created by magicians. Architects and creatives and things like that. Four of Pentacles comes out on top of the Seven of Wands. Very guarded, very um, grounded energy. Someone could be working on their health. That's a message for some of you guys. Okay, Judgment, the Earth Angel. The Queen of Pentacles would be a doctor or a nurse or some sort of an attendant, administrative or something like that. 
clarify that judgment. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, the universe is urging you to either fast, uh, go through some sort of a cleanse, or walk away from a situation that you, that doesn't benefit you anymore. Could be something emotional, or it could be some sort of an uh, addiction like drinking, sex, or alcohol. Some of you guys may even be addicted to ridiculous things like cell phone technology, TikTok, whatever the case may be. At this time, yeah, before a tower hits or a death cycle hits, you definitely want to detox from things you know that are not serving your mental, emotional, physical, financial, or spiritual health. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys, may need to, if you're already in a relationship, you need to pay more attention to your feminine energy, whether that's your own internal en uh, feminine energy or you have a partner, men. If you have a partner, you have to pay more attention to your woman, right? Even your women. If you're a woman watching this, you need to pay more attention to your dude's feminine nature, right? <laughs> If you're gonna, it should, it should go without saying. If you're gonna buy yourself something to eat, buy it, buy or do something, something to eat too. <laughs> Seven of Cups, intuition, Queen of Pentacles has several options here, or is viewed as having several options. We could be dealing with an entrepreneur, some sort of a clairvoyant or a psychic, deals with a lot of people. The energy or their talent would be like mine, being able to heal a bunch of people at once. So, yeah encouraging blowing the horn right getting everyone's attention here to take action to better yourselves walk away from things that um you know don't serve you learn to detach right don't be a bag lady don't be a you know a guy that has a friggin' whole closet worth of shoes right if the apocalypse hit would even run down the street with a garbage bag full of sneakers right that's what you invested in your whole entire life that's your claim to fame you want to show someone your watch or your shoe collection or your car collection <laughs> yeah, we can put we can we can put all that stuff in one big trash pile on top of your funeral or your grave site when you die, right? Unless you did something smart like plan your life, right? Plan with like a will or something and divvy up or um what do they call it when you uh delegate things to a certain person. All right? All right. Let's see. What do we have at the bottom of the deck here? I'm, I'm not sure how many of you guys I did this for, but we have the Queen of Wands. Yep. Very powerful individual. Very attractive. A mover and a shaker. Possibly a traveler as well. Oh, that tower is about to hit. And there's an investigation. And the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands is here. Holy shit. At the bottom is the juggling. So this is what's grounding this energy at this time. I'm guessing you're trying to either guard yourself or you're trying to ground yourself. But your twin flame divine counterpart is coming in, right? This could be that nervous energy, right? The calm before the storm, the time before the storm, time before the time, the nervousness, right? Girls, you know you get that when you get off the phone from the person that you liked or the person that you like is on the way to your house, right? And you hang up and you're like, oh my God, he's on his way. <laughs> your girls are there. You're like, help me get ready, right? This is your twin flame finally coming in. Or someone that's extremely attracted to you, see some sort of a soul tie with justice, I'm sorry, with judgment and the wheel of fortune here. Yeah, this could be a new commitment, a new relationship, possibly marriage. Mm -hmm. An admission, possibly, even is what I'm getting. Someone's going to confess something here. Mm -hmm. Page of swords in the tower, they've been spying, or this is an investigation. Or very strong feelings that someone has, right? They were apprehensive, but the more they hold back, the stronger it gets. The more they hold back... Because they think they're holding back with their mind. They think they can use their mind to confuse their emotions. But I don't think they built like that. They're built like a king and queen of wands. Very passionate. A lot of energy. They even may be slightly reserved, right? The queen of pentacles, she can put a lot of her, her energy into work, right? Turning down romance. But at some point, it takes over here. Tower moment. Scorpio is sexuality. Right? Looking for that companion. To travel through life with, or to heal with, or to grow with. Mm -hmm. The other major arcana is the magician. Now you have a plethora of options. It could be the, either the illusion of inclusion, or it can be um, that other one where you don't want to make a decision, or you can't make a decision, right? Not imposter syndrome, but the other one. Analysis paralysis. I'll pull a break deck message here to close out your reading today, collective. 
very interesting readings. You guys actually had divine counterparts to show through the reading and the king and queen of wands. So your person is super attractive. They're headed towards you. Could be a deep, deep conversation or again, some sort of an admitted an admittance of like um, attraction on different levels, whether it's like hobbies or something like that. Adventuring or something, something quirky about you guys, right? The quirks on what make you special. So the break deck message is the chariot. Yep, they're coming towards you. Yep, but this ace of cups, possibly a water sign or a cancer sign. <laughs> it's probably a cancer, but it could be any of the water signs. Yeah, fire sign energy, right? Uh, King of wands or queen of wands energy. They're very, again, confident, very persistent. They have a lot of willpower. Mm -hmm. They know how to draw in certain things. They may be in pursuit of you at this time. Wanting to bring this Ace of Cups, show you or tell you how they truly feel about you. Mm -hmm. There could be some sort of a psychic or energetic link, right? A strong romantic connection, a.k.a. love makes you do crazy things, right? They may have saw you and instantly fell in love with you, or this could be you. You instantly met this person and was attracted to this person. Their intelligence or their beauty or their quirky, strange nature. Oh, wait, you have two jumpers or three. My, my, my. Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Judgment. Reciprocation. Um, of course, spying, taking notes, um, possibly uh, exchanging gifts, showing grace, appreciation. Right. This could even be a prayer session or some sort of a group activity as well where you're learning to manifest in the group. Yep. The Eight of Pentacles and yeah, the Six of Pentacles. And yeah, the more you put into yourself, the more you'll be able to um, produce, I guess. It's almost like getting good sleep. You get energized and be able to do more work. But this is like building internal value. The more internal value you build for yourself, the more, the more of worth you will be to the people around you, right? Or to yourself, right? Or to whatever you feel that, you know, you want to put that energy into. Whether it's a business, your family life, your home life, your career. But that's what I have for you here today. It looks like you're coming across uh, very strong and important partnerships, friendships, a very strong love connection, possibly even your twin flame. Mm -hmm. A lot of creative energy. Now, you don't necessarily have to be in a romantic, right? Uh, we're not codependent and we're able to detach. You don't have to be in a relationship with the person that provides you with the ultimate chemistry, right? A muse, you know, but you know, those relations there are, on, are, are there on the back burner <laughs> or running side by side with you in order to teach you something to level you up, right? Um, to help you experience growth, right? Even a twin flame can put you on the right path or set you straight when it comes to love and romance, right through some sort of a connection with them if it's some sort of a love romance or courtship but they'll set you right um or teach you what love is you know sometimes they're in third party connections right going back to the movie hancock right they met each other but she was already in a relationship and had a child right married to someone else right through the love connection that she had with him and remembering that relationship she had with him toward the end she was able to go back to her regular mundane 3d relationship and live out a regular life which is what she wanted right she didn't want to be you know a shaman or whatever the case may be she wanted to be a regular person so through your twin flame it can, again it could still show you true love and how it's you know true uh, true love is understanding it's apologetic it's accepting right it's merciful all those different things right <laughs> They're just very interesting connections in the long run, and I don't want to go through the whole spill about it. But yeah, it's almost like I'm going to love you right, and I'm going to send you back home to your partner so you can love your partner right. <laughs> or it just so happens that magical golden egg hatches, and the universe makes a way for you guys to be with each other and experience each other in that full love and abundance growth. Mm -hmm. I get the, the title or the... Um, 
the deck holder, right? The three of cups, you and your person. <laughs> Anyways, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.